At night, all the weirdos come out. Well, here's something I've never seen before. These are epitokes, part of the bristle worm life cycle. They did appear to be at least somewhat attracted to the light. There were quite a few of them swing around the tank late at night. As per Wikipedia, epitoki is a process that occurs in many species of polychaete worms, wherein a sexually immature worm is modified or transformed into a sexually mature worm, the epitope. Epitopes are pelagic morphs capable of sexual reproduction. So that means they aren't baby bristle worms, which is what I initially thought they were, but rather these are parts of the adults that break off to reproduce. Of course, there are thousands of different species of polychaete worms, and bristle worm is just the generic term we use in the hobby. I vaguely remember a long time ago seeing them spawn in the tank, similar to how snails spawn, so it's possible this is a different species of polychaete worm. I've never really read up much on these guys, mostly because marine worms freak me out. The run-of-the-mill bristles are great scavengers and a good part of your cleanup crew, but the Oregon worm incident is forever burdened to my brain. Since I'm just learning about this myself, I can't really explain it much better, although it is pretty interesting learning about their strange life cycle. How often have you thought about the bristle worm life cycle? I've included some links in the description. Unfortunately, an old link I consulted in the past, everything you wanted to know about worms but were afraid to ask no longer works, but there's still tons of information out there. Happy worming.